this is Sean here. Just want to give a quick update on the Project Nano Day 11. So as you can see, as we get closer, there is some coral. Got some GSP growing over here. Got some other corals. Camera doesn't really do it justice. So we got some soft coral, some hard coral, some more GSP here. Um, looks like one of the creatures, probably the snails, flipped over the GSP there. So I'll have to straighten that back out, but I got three strands over here. I got one on the other side. I got some uh, gigantic Mexican turbo snails on cleanup duty because we are suffering from a uh, huge diatome bloom in the tank. I'll go ahead and turn on the white light so you can see. So this is what the tank is looking like right now. Corals looking good, except the GSPs haven't opened up on these two very long. Uh, they did open up and then they retracted uh, because of a disturbance. But the one on the side here is opening up real nice. So I hope to see that spread. I did uh, change out the um, coral band. I've got the coral band that was in here now in a uh, 10 gallon tank. And I put the smaller uh, coral band in this tank. Uh, so um, as not to have as much disturbance on the coral and I also have a pair of Ocellaris clowns uh, these are the guys that were uh, in the 2.6 gallon Pico project Pico for a little while but um, one of them got real stressed in there so I just moved them back into the 10 gallon for a little bit and then moved them over here uh, they seem to be doing a lot better here they're eating and um, you know things are looking good so um, the snails are doing a good job of uh, cleaning up the live rock where you can see um, in the crevices here what the diatome uh, bloom look like and you can see some of it on the sand still <clears throat> But overall, those snails are doing a great job. And uh, once they're done, I'll be moving them into my larger tank. And I'm going to grab some of the smaller uh, turbo snails from my large tank and put them in here uh, to be on uh, a more permanent duty. But um, I went ahead and grabbed some of the big ones. I mean, these things are gigantic. There's a third one there. And it looks like one of the coral bands uh, molted. Probably, hmm, probably the one that's uh, the new one. Because I didn't see that there earlier. So it uh, looks like we got a, a coral band molt. Awesome. Uh, that usually bodes well. That means the. All right, so my um, camera, the phone died on that last recording, so I'm just going to go through the water test real quick. So right now we're holding steady at 8.0, 8.2 uh, on the pH. And um, ammonia is at zero. nitrite is at zero and nitrate is at zero so water levels are looking good and um, I plan to do another water test in the next day or so um, but for now everything looks healthy corals looking healthy coral band shrimp molted 
and the snails are getting around cleaning up all this, this stuff. You see the soft corals there are nice and wide open. So that's it. Thank you for watching my video.